My name is Dr. Bruce Crawford. I created a method of pelvic floor fitness training called Pilates. The pelvic floor is a small group of muscles that are very important in controlling the bladder. Bladder control, it turns out, is a fitness issue. And the program we've created is a fitness solution that can help preserve and restore bladder function for men and women. This program was created in 2008, 2009 by myself and now is taught all over the world. So what we're demonstrating here is one of the movements that we've identified as an excellent way to contract the muscles that are so important for controlling the bladder. This first movement is a traditional lunge, but it's not done in a traditional way. If you can go ahead and demonstrate the movement. We have the subject step forward and, and, and back. We're going to do three repetitions in this cycle. Step forward again and back. This time when you step forward, I want you to stay forward. Go ahead and step forward. Now, these muscles we're talking about, the pelvic floor muscles, are automatically contracted just by being in this position. If we ask the subject to exaggerate the contraction of the butt cheek of the back leg, you'll get even more engagement of these pelvic floor muscles. Now, while holding this position, we ask people to do a small range of motion, exactly like that, and every time they dip down, we ask them to add a pelvic floor contraction, a so-called Kegel exercise, but very quickly. Every time they dip, they're performing a rapid contraction, and now you can step back. And we would obviously repeat that on both sides. The second movement that we use when we're conditioning these muscles that are so important for bladder control is a wide stance squatting movement. And go ahead and demonstrate this. They're going to do three repetitions of lowering down into a deep squat and then back up again. And lowering back down, understanding that the point of peak engagement, peak contraction, is at the lowest point in the squat. Now on this time, when you lower down, I want you to hold it at the lowest point in the squat. Now, at this point, both of the gluteal muscles, the butt muscles are contracting, the inner thigh muscles are contracting, and the patients are contracting the lower abdominal muscles, so the pelvic floor muscles are automatically engaged. And as they pulse through a small range of motion, deep in the squat, they're adding a Kegel exercise each time they dip down to further engage those pelvic floor muscles. That's perfect, thank you. So the next movement that we're going to look at is called hovering. This is actually the eighth movement in the series of 10 movements that are used to strengthen and condition the muscles that are so important for bladder control. This movement's called hovering. So go ahead and begin the movement. You're gonna lower down towards your heels and back up a little more slowly. And as you reach the top of this movement, the pelvic floor muscles are most engaged. So on the next repetition, go ahead and go back down. Come on back up and hold it at the top now. Both gluteal muscles, both butt muscles are contracting. You're using the resistance of the mat to get the inner thigh muscles to engage, and you're curling the pelvis under. Now the pelvic floor muscles are automatically contracted. Now, making a small range of motion, you're gonna uncurl, relax the pelvis, and bring the pelvis forward again as you add a pelvic floor contraction, just like that. That's perfect. And very rapid, forceful contractions. Very good. And that's called hovering. Excellent.